Okay, boys and girls, we are starting a new lesson in social studies. We are going to learn about Juliet Gordon Lowe. Our standard says to describe the lives and contributions of historical figures in Georgia history. So we're going to learn who was Juliet Gordon Lowe. Okay. Now we're going to start out of our Georgia Social Studies book, The Story of Juliet Gordon Lowe and the Girl Scouts. Juliet Gordon Lowe was born in 1860 in Savannah, Georgia. So where is Juliet from? Savannah. Savannah is located in the coastal plain region of Georgia. So let's look at the map. It says find Savannah on the map. Then use the map grid and the compass rows to answer the questions. Which grid square includes Savannah? All right, so here's Savannah. We've got to figure out which grid square that is. All right, so we're here. So we go over, we're at E. And we go up, that is seven. So Savannah is E seven. Number two, which grid square includes Atlanta? So Atlanta is the capital of the state of Georgia. Where do you see Atlanta? Right here is Atlanta. So it's in this grid square. All right, so to find Atlanta, we go over and up. So we are at C, three, go back and match it up. It is C, three. So Savannah and Atlanta are not close to each other. Draw a line from Savannah to Atlanta. So we're going to draw our line from Savannah all the way to Atlanta. Now, if you traveled from Savannah to Atlanta, which direction would you travel? All right, so if we go from Savannah to Atlanta, would we go northeast, northwest, Southeast, Southwest. All right, so Northeast, Southeast, Southwest, Northwest. Up and to the left. What direction? Going this way. That is Northwest. Juliet lived near the Atlantic Ocean. Does the Atlantic Ocean border the region where you live? Yes or no? So Juliet lived near the Atlantic Ocean. Right here. 
does the Atlantic Ocean border the region where you live? What region was Juliet Gordon Lowe from? All right, she's from the coastal plain. Guys, what region of Georgia are you from? The coastal plain. You're from the same region of Georgia as she is. So does the do, do you live near the same place? Yes, you do live in the same place. The Atlantic Ocean does border the region where you live. We live in the exact same region as Juliet. So, so far, what have we learned? Where did Juliet Gordon Lowe live? Savannah, Georgia. She was born in Savannah, Georgia, which is part of the Coastal Plain region. All right, let's learn about her as a young child. Young Juliet. Juliet Gordon Lowe was a very bright girl with a big imagination. She liked to make people laugh. Her family and friends called her Daisy. So what was her nickname? Daisy. Juliet liked to gather children together for activities and games. She even wrote plays and organized the children as actors. Juliet came from a wealthy family. She attended boarding schools in Virginia and New York City. Boarding schools are places where students live while they attended classes. Juliet's favorite subject was art. She loved to paint and draw. All right, circle the words that describe Juliet. Guys, you're going to put a thumbs up or down to show me if these describe Juliet. All right, was Juliet funny? Yes, it says she liked to make people laugh. Was she happy? Yes, that also goes with the same thing. She liked to make people laugh. Was she sad? No. Was she angry? No. Was she smart? Yes, it says she was a very bright girl. I mean, she's smart. All right, it says, read the sentences about Juliet Gordon Lowe. Decide if each sentence is a fact, that means true facts, or if they're opinions, they're what you think. So, number one, Juliet's nickname was Daisy. That is a fact we learned. Number two, Juliet's family was wealthy. That is a fact we learned. Number three, Juliet was the best artist in her school. That's an opinion. We don't know if she's the best. We just know that she loved art. Number four, Juliet attended boarding schools. That is a fact we learned. Remember, those are the schools you go and live while attending. All right, let's learn some more. 
Juliet gets married. All right, so she's a little bit older now. Let's find out what happens when she gets married. After finishing school, Juliet went to Europe for a vacation. There she met William Lowe. They got married and set up homes in Savannah and England. So how many homes did she have, guys? Two homes. One in Savannah, one in England. So one where she's from, one where he's from. Sadly, Juliet suffered problems with her hearing. As a child and young adult, she had ear infections. Those infections damaged her hearing. After her wedding, people threw rice at Juliet and William for good luck. A grain of rice got stuck in Juliet's ear. She got another infection and had to have an operation. This problem damaged her hearing even more. Now Juliet was nearly deaf. Okay, guys, that meant she could almost not hear at all out of that ear. So the rice from the wedding that was stuck in her ear on that side caused her to lose her hearing completely in that side almost completely and this picture is her at the age that she married i will have that picture in color tomorrow so you can get a better picture of what she looked like when she was a young adult it's a very pretty picture of her all right it says use the word bank to fill in the chart one example has been done for you. All right, so we have rice got stuck in her ear. Her hearing was damaged. Juliet became nearly deaf. All right, we have a cause and an effect. All right, Juliet went to Europe. What happened because she went to Europe? Juliet met William Lowe. All right, the next one, Juliet had ear infections growing up. What happened? Because of it, her hearing was damaged. All right, the next one. Guest threw rice at Juliet's wedding. What happened because the guest threw rice at the wedding? Yes, rice got stuck in her ear. Juliet had to have an operation. What happened? Juliet became nearly deaf. That means almost. Okay. So she struggled to hear. Now, we're going to stop there in the lesson today, but we are going to go over the most important facts about Juliet Gordon Lowe. All right, because on Friday you will have the test. So we're going to stop with her getting married today with the big story. 
but just some overall facts that you need to know. All right, Juliet Gordon Lowe is a famous Georgian. The reason why? She is the founder of the Girl Scouts. That is the most important piece of information that you need to learn. All right, she was born in 1860 in Savannah, Georgia. Juliet always wanted to help others. When she was an adult, she met a man named Robert Baden Powell, who was the founder of the Boy Scouts. Mr. Baden Powell told Juliet that she should work with the Girl Guides. The Girl Guides was a group for girls similar to the Boy Scouts. Juliet loved the Girl Guides. She, sh she saw how it helped boost girl self-esteem. That means it's a feeling of confidence in yourself. So Juliet started Girl Guide groups in England and in Scotland. And then she later started them in America, in Savannah first. Juliet Gordon Lowe started the American Girl Guides in Savannah, Georgia. She held the first meeting on March 12, 1912, and had 18 girls attend the first meeting. One year later, she changed the name to the Girl Scouts that we know today. All right, so she is known for being the founder of the Girl Scouts. So what... What's the important thing that we should know about Juliet Gordon Lowe? She is the founder of the Girl Scouts. She started that group. Here is a picture of Juliet Gordon Lowe from 1925 in her uniform, her Girl Scout uniform. Okay, so study these facts and we will continue learning about her life tomorrow.